Hi, I'm Colin, and in this video, we're going to be installing a 22 mil push fit sure stop remote switch. Sure stop is available in 15 mil and 22 mil push fit and compression options with valve only and remote switch versions available. In this video, we'll be installing a remote switch option, but the same considerations apply across the range. Designed to allow a quick and easy isolation of the water supply in an emergency, SureStop is best installed in addition to a traditional stopcock to satisfy the requirements of certain water suppliers, where a wind down stop tap must be installed. SureStop is designed for gravity cold and cold mains water supplies up to 10 bar static pressure. Remote switch options also require a minimum maintained pressure of 0.5 bar. Check the pressures are within tolerance or that a pressure reducing valve is installed and suitably adjusted before commencing work. Having confirmed that the pressures are suitable, isolate the water supply before cutting into any pipe work. Having identified a suitable location after the existing stopcock, cut into the pipe work using the relevant cutout dimensions on screen as a guide. Take care to ensure that any burrs have been removed on both the outside and inside edges of the pipe work as so not to damage the valve seals of the push fit assembly. Before installing the valve, take care to ensure that the flow direction is the same as indicated on the valve body. The valve may fail to operate if installed incorrectly. Now you can install the valve to the pipework, taking care to ensure the pipework has been fully inserted. For compression versions of SureStop, take care to ensure that support is provided using a spanner or grips to steady the valve in place as the nuts have been tightened. Do not hold the body of the valve to provide purchase when tightening, as this could damage the valve. The SureStop remote switch is provided with a two meter connection tube to allow installation in an accessible location, such as the side of the cupboard or above the worktop. Plan the location for the switch. Ensure the two meter tubing will not be stretched or kinked. Once a location for the switch plate has been determined, use the template and fixings provided to secure the back plate to a flat and level surface. Ensure that the connecting tubing will face downwards from the switch once fitted. For installations closer than two meters, cut the switch tubing to size to avoid coiling or kinking of the excess tube. The tubing must be cut at 90 degrees using a pipe cutter or sharp blade to ensure an adequate seal once inserted to the connections. Wire cutters or scissors are not recommended for this task. The switch assembly can then be connected. Take care to fully insert the tubing into the switch body. Use the cable tie to secure the tubing in place, taking care to ensure that the tubes will not be kinked when the switch plate is pushed into place. Do not attach the switch into the back plate at this stage. Before connecting the tubing to the valve, ensure the switch on both the valve and the switch plate are left in the on position. Route the connection tubing flat against the cupboard using the clips provided. Take care not to kink or crimp the tubing in this process. It is also advised to ensure the tubing is routed away from hot surfaces and pipework to avoid thermal expansion within the tube. The final connection to the valve can then be made with the switch tubing. Take care to fully insert the tubing into the connectors. Checking once more to ensure that the valve switch and the switch plate are in the on position. Reinstate the water supply at the mains. Once the water supply starts to flow, test the sure stop by turning the remote switch to the off position. The flow of water should now stop you can now check the installation for leaks at the pipework and the switch tubing connections. Once the installation has been tested for leaks, test the remote switch and the valve switch to ensure the water supply can be isolated on and off. Once the installation has been fully tested, install the remote switch into the back plate to complete the installation. Your SureStop is now fully installed to provide instant isolation at a flick of a switch. To keep SureStop working at its best, we recommend to operate the switch every three months to dislodge any debris which may be deposited from the water supply. 